Okay guys, obviously I think you saw this. So if I'm viewing my profile, I see the add friend button, which is kind of weird. Okay, so just to fix that, we'll just make sure that block doesn't show up in case we are viewing our profile. So in the profiles controller, I'll just make sure this block doesn't show up if the auth user is equals to the user ID. So right here, I'm, I'm saying if the authenticated user is the one viewing his profile, then it's not the one viewing his profile, then you can go ahead and show this um, view components right here. So if I refresh, it's gone because I'm viewing my profile and I can't be seeing buttons that contain friendship with myself. And so is it for Emily's profile also. Uh, last thing we did was actually add a friend so we can actually send friend requests and if I view my profile from Emily's profile by typing cat France right here, I see Emily is actually waiting for me to reply to her friend request. And uh, on my profile, I see the button for me to accept Emily's friend request is there, but it's not working. So in our view components, this is where view just gets easy because it just becomes a cycle of repeating one and the same thing over and over. So we're just gonna repeat exactly the same thing. For our accept friend request, we're just gonna have a button and this button is gonna call the accept friend method. And uh, what we just need to do is just add that method in our components. So I'll just say accept friend and uh, this method is just gonna make an Ajax request to our server and just accept that friendship and then return to us the results, okay? So right here, I'll just copy and I'll put the loading state to true. And I'll make an HTTP request just like I did with the add friend method. And uh, it's going to go to the accept friend route. So accept friend route with the profile user ID. Then as soon as it makes the request, I will get the re response back. And then if the ordered body is one, then I'll just say change this status not to waiting, but to friends. Okay, so I think one of the statuses there is friends. So if the status is friends, then it's just gonna show a span tag with friends. Okay, so change the status to friends and uh, change this dot loading to false. Okay, so we need to set up that route. So right in our web.php, in our web.php, we're just gonna create another route. And uh, this route is gonna be, and this route is gonna be accept friend. So right here would we'll also accept friend and accept friend. So in our friendships controller, we'll just go ahead and accept that friend by creating a method public function accept friend. And this method, of course, is going to accept the ID. And right here, we're going to accept the friend. And obviously right here, we're just gonna say sending notifications and all that. We'll take care of that in a later lesson. So return of user, we get an instance of the authenticated user and we just accept friend and we pass in the ID. So remember our accept friend method in our friendable thread. So the accept friend method is gonna return one if it succeeds. So it's gonna return one if it succeeds. So we just return this. So if it succeeds, it's gonna return a one. And uh, in our friend view, in our friend view, we are checking if the response that we get is a one, then change this status to, to friends and then change this dot loading to false. So let's go ahead and view that working. So if we refresh and I click accept friend, there should be something going wrong in the background. Yeah, of course, I haven't run gulp. Sorry guys. So, so let's go ahead and run gulp, watch. Okay, so that's washing. Let's go ahead and see that in action. So right here, if I click on the accept friend, we should see a response log to our console. So loading, now they're friends. Okay, so that's working perfectly. So it means the friendship was accepted and now these guys are friends. If I refresh, loading, they're friends. So if I go ahead to my profile, I refresh, loading so they're friends so that's how we've accepted friendships using vue.js i think that was pretty easy and fun okay so see you in the next video